Банде Гуру Падотандам Бхактабинда Саманитам Шри Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Нитананда Саходитам Си Нанда Нанда Нанг Банде Радхика Чарно Даям Гопи Жану Самаюктам Бинда Банаману Ванча калпатару вешча ке пасинду вивача Патитананг пабуне бхавишна вибью наму намаха Мухан каротти бача ланг пангум ланг хетгире Нят ке пата маханг банди Шнагапти паде деви шатто бхаттвей наму нама Нара юна намаскритта наранча ивана раттама Девин сара сватинга сам тато джайо мудире Чанкиртане кишна кату падеши Гаурия Хадану рапта гуру бхакти юкта, бхакти прамадакша джагод барана, дхайям сада пари бхабагна мавишта духам, тита спадам сива виранчинутам сараньям, бхита тихам бханатопал бхабади бхутам, банде махабурушати чаруна арвиндам. Ядпада паллава на качанда маничатая. Биспуриджи такими пигаводу чуадурси. Поруна нурагара сасагара сарамурти. Сарадика майкада кипа караши. Сри Кришна чайтанна прагунита ананда. Сиаддвита года дхарасива садихи гаура бхакта винда. Си Кришна Чайтанна Прахунитта Ананд Си Аддхита Гададар Сивасадихи Паура Бхакта Бинд Шри Кришна Чайтанна Прахунитта Ананд Си Аддхита Гададар Сивасадихи Паура Бхакта Бинд Харе Кришна Харе Кришна Кришна, Кришна, Харе, 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 Рам, Харе, Рам, 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 Харе, Харе. Аджану ламбита бхуджо канука бадату, Шанкиртаной капитару камала ятакшо. Вишам бару дижа бару югадхар мапалу банде югад прия кару каруна бхатару Хари Кришна Хари Кришна 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 Хари 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 Рам Хари Рам Рам Аджану ламбита бхуджо канака бодату, Шанкиртану и капитару камала шатакшу, Вишам бару дижа бару югадхар мапалу, Банде ягат прия кару, Каруна бхатару, Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна, 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 Хари, Хари. Хари Рам, Хари Рам, Рам Рам, Хари Хари. Нама Миганге Тавапа Дубан Каджам, Сурахасуруира Бхаван Рупе Насада Наранам 
गंगा तरंग रमणीय जठा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भागम नारायणो प्रियम अनंग मदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुष्यो वदने लक्ष्मीज च वक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीतम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे संकीर्तमान भगवान अनंत श्रुतान भाव वसन पुंसा प्रवेश चित्यम धनतीयशीषम यथा तम अर्को अभ्रोमी वापिवात संकीर्तम भगवान्न श्रुतावसनम पुंसा प्रवेश चित्यम विधुनोतीयशीषम यथा तम अर्क अभ्रमी वातिवात संकीर्तम भगवान्न श्रुतावसनम पुंसा प्रवेश चित्यम विधुनोतीयशीषम यथा तम अर्क अभ्रमी वातिवात गौरी गोष्ठी भक्ति What you can do? See, Nam Bhun ka samay. While just looking at Nam, ka apat, there are different ke. kind of uh, thinkings of material things coming in inside our heart. It is just coming inside our mind. Prabhupada actually giving answer. Kauriya Goshtipati, Shishila Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Paramahansa Jagat Guru has given answer in uh, front of in up uh, front of this. Prabhupada actually speaking. That under Guru Anugatya, we have to just take Shri Krishna Nam. Just by taking Krishna Nam, definitely we'll get that blissfulness. But we have to do Guru Anugatya. Under Guru Anugatya, we have to do Hari Nam, and we'll definitely get Mangal in that. And at the time of Nam Grahan, there are different kind of material things will be coming inside our mind. Then what we can do Nam? We can't do Nam then. It is not that we should not do Hari Nam. At the time of Hari Nam, whatever uh, uh, material things are coming inside our mind, okay, no problem. But still, at the time of Nam, if you will just give some looseness, oh, what to do? Uh, lot of material things coming in our mind. What to do for that? It is not like that. At the time of na- taking Nam, lot of material things will definitely come in your mind. For that, you just you will be thinking that uh, what will be done or what will not be done, and at that time our uh, our mind will be just very loosened up. So it is not like that. At the time of Nam Grahan, while doing Nam Sankirtan, every kind of material objects, these anarthas will definitely go away automatically. But when you are just purposely, you don't uh, uh, bring all those material things in your mind. Prabhupada speaking that at the time of Nam Sankirtan, slowly, steadily, all these anarthas will go away definitely, because our heart is very complicated. 
if the heart is complicated for that it is not uh, it is not for that just be careful about this our heart is nishkapat and a lot of material things are coming in our heart okay no problem but just by doing naam sankirtan and doing prarthana to lotus feet of naam prabhu gradually slowly steadily all these uh, things material things will definitely go away one day you don't uh, be too much uh, fast and up then after for that no result will come if you will just be making too much uh, hurry for that because uh, forcibly uh, nothing will happen in this forcibly if you will just be making your mind to go away from that thing material things it will not happen when you will be uh, forcing uh, the heart and material mind that definitely it will become more distorted whatever pressure you will be putting on the mind oh like this i can do otherwise the different uh, reverse uh, negative thing will be given to you negative result will come so that's why don't fight with your heart don't fight with your material mind the mind go as in mantra let the mind go like that you can't do anything in that you just uh, become like a spectator and you be careful about this one what i am speaking like there is one siddh mahatma par mahapurush when he just uh, uh, attained that stage at that stage all his uh, activities it, uh, it will become uh, just like a uh, example for them at that time when they and when those mahapurush attain that stage at that point whatever qualities characteristics that automatically whatever is going on and from your side there is no actually pressure and you are just like a spectator seeing your realization your bhavana your bhav inside that i don't have any relation with material things i don't have anything i am actually nityadas of krishna whatever material things is coming okay no worries let it come so i will not be forcibly uh, putting pressure on that because negative result will come like i have already told this shloka i have already told in at that time like a mad horse our heart material mind is compared with a mad horse in this shloka our heart is compared with a mad horse look actually i don't want i don't have time to just give this uh, full uh, interpretation of this like like um, our material mind is just compared with the mad horse it is compared with a mad horse and in order to just get control over it it is not at all possible you are just be when you will doing some forcing at attitude force forcibly you will be controlling it then you will get negative result that's why it is written that our our material mind in order to control it is very uh, difficult and it will just throw us when you will just be going over mad horse then definitely that mad horse will just uh, put one leg on your chest and will throw you that our sense organs in order to control that and our heart in material mind to get control it is not at all possible but still it is possible it is written in the kirtan also onike jotone sheshav jamane chhariya chi asa ami kirtan bangla mein hai it is bengali kirtan you just be carefully uh, understand this point sheshav jamane chhariya chi asa onathera nath daki jamana ekono bharosha to This is the actual path of Krishna. Uh, uh, Kirtan, what Bhakti Nath Tagore speaking. Like lot of uh, things I have done forcibly, but nothing has happened. But now I will take shelter of Krishna. 
Now I have to take the shelter of Bhagwan. To go in shelter of Bhagwan means to go under the shelter of Guru Vishnu. How you can go to shelter of Bhagwan? Directly you can't go. It is not at all possible to go directly. That's why to take the shelter of Guru Vishnu. Who are actually Guru Vishnu? Those who are Lakpati. Mahaprabhu actually speaking that. Those who are Lakpati. On to that load the sweet of sadhu. Those who are at least minimum doing one lakh harinam daily. So when that mad horse in order to control it, it is very impossible to control him. And Prabhupada actually speaking, when our heart is going different way, then you just don't, you be quiet like a spectator, you see him. And just, uh, you just be concentrating on Harinam. Just by doing Harinam slowly, steadily, gradually, that kind of uh, unearth and all material things will definitely go away from your mind. For this you don't get uh, busy in that. There is no uh, chance that you will get the result immediately. You don't, Prabhupada speaking that, you don't, uh, you don't be get busy with that because before you will not get the result, positive result. You will not get the positive result before only. Krishna Nam with full preeti, with full prema. When you will be just uh, with loud voice, you just uh, speak Harinam. Prabhupada always used to speak that that Aprakrit Harinam. When you are just speaking with a very loud voice, crying out, then definitely, slowly, steadily, those unearth will just go away from your heart. Whether the whole the whole world actually just laughing, oh, he is speaking Hare Krishna, you see, Prabhupada speaking like this. Whether the whole world will just laugh at you. But still, you need to uh, do Harinam with full loud voice. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Like this, you just go on speaking. And maybe those people who are laughing at you, definitely they will just be shut up. And all your unearth will go away from your material mind. Let him enjoy, let him laugh at you. When you are doing Krishna Nam with Priti, you should do Krishna Nam with Priti. Slowly, steadily, all those material uh, thinking and the prabhav of material things will definitely go away from your mind. And in Krishna Nam, that prabal agraha, that topmost agraha, when you are don't have, when you don't have that, when how material things will go out of your mind, and when you don't have realization that Bhagwan and uh, Bhagwat Nam is non different. So with the body, speech, and mind, you just need to serve Bhagwan, Bhagwat Nam, Hari Nam. That uh, Bhagwan Nam definitely will just uh, um, uh, manifest his own Swarup. Bhakti Sinan Saraswati Prabhupada speaking by body, speech, and mind. That Prabal Agra with that Prabal, that with full preeti and with full attachment, you are just doing a Nam Sankirtan, and that Nam will definitely by just doing Seva and Nam Sankirtan, you continuously do that. And that uh, Param Mangalmay Harinam will definitely uh, manifest that uh, Swaroop in front of you. Don't uh, worry about that at all. But just uh, start doing uh, Harinam with full uh, uh, loud mood. Definitely your unearth will definitely get destroyed in some time. You don't get... Uh, definitely that unearth will go away. Don't uh, need to think of that. Now the question is coming that the slok which I started with Lord, uh, whatever anarth is there inside your heart, slowly, steadily, when you are doing Nam Sankirtan, everything will go away from your heart, slowly, steadily, Bhakti Thakur speaking. It is written in Hindi, like that the, that wind actually it's just going in the air and all the clouds are just uh, get scattered in the air. Bhakti Thakur speaking in Bengali and I am now speaking in Hindi, that like a wind, that lot of wind, gusty wind, 
just uh, going here and there all in all the directions and it is just making all and uh, on the and on the sun god that uh, black cloud their black cloud is uh, there that covering that is just got scattered by that gusty wind and all the darkness will definitely go away and this is in the same way our uh, material heart and mind will definitely be just uh, get out of the contamination and infinity on earth what is there inside our heart that will go away and all our dosh and anarth will just go away it will just get destroyed just by taking krishna naam under the shelter of krishna naam our mind is just getting more getting uncontaminated shuto anubhuta joto anarto samjog sri krishna sankirtane sab hoy to biyo je rupi bayute me surjo to manase chitte praveshya dosh ashish visheshe प्रभाव ऑफ कृष्ण नाम इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प अस इन लॉट ऑफ टाइम आई हैव जस्ट डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट दैट विद फुल प्रेम यू जस्ट नीड टू डू नाम संकीर्तन यू जस्ट टू टेक द टेक द नेम ऑफ नाम एंड जस्ट यू हैव टू बी ऑफ भगवान एंड यू हैव टू टेक द नाम ऑफ भगवान दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट विश है जस्ट टू बिकम भगवान जस्ट टू बिकम शरणागत ऑन टू लोटस ऑफ फीट ऑफ भगवान दैट यू आर माइंड and just to take naam like that that is so much powerful that you can't even understand and the all those siddh uh, mahatma sadhus they are just taking shelter of those and naam ashray and they are taking the ashray of naam and uh, then if it is truly speaking that all the bhakti the mode of bhakti different kind of uh, modes of bhakti if you are definitely taking uh, actual hari naam from your mouth then definitely you will get the result whatever defects or whatever uh, whatever uh, 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 things are there in uh, difficulties there but by naam sankirtan everything can be done naam sankirtan is so much powerful by naam sankirtan everything can be done that's why krishna naam just to take shelter of krishna naam you will get uh, Uh, that you will get uh, sarvang in that complete that in uh, when you take complete shelter of krishna naam then by taking the shelter definitely our material mind will just uh, be getting free from contamination and very soon that jiva will definitely get that prem dhan of krishna very very uh, very soon and i we just need to think about the anarth uh the first day i have just talked about it that how that how it is possible like this that uh, with maya devi that atma has some it looks like that the prabhav of maya devi so much on kar atma it is not at all possible but still how it looks like that uh, with atma uh, this material world has no connection because atma is in my but still it how it do, how it uh, looks like manasi sammak pranitamale apashya purusham purna mayancha tadavasve vaisdev ko shastra vaisdev ko swami pad bhakti yog ke dwara with by the by the prabhav of bhakti yog he has just seen that with full concentration when he got that he just uh, seen one thing that uh, that purna purush bhagwan shri krishna he has taken the darshan and behind that pur pur purush uh, she that maya devi is just uh, uh, with her head down she is just standing back at the back like a shadow she is actually just at the back with her head down and this kind of prabhav of maya how actually this prabhav of maya is actually getting uh, in distorted 
around this jiva in maya and he this jiva atma actually thinking that he is in the three modes so three modes of material nature and thinking that this is actually the life and he is actually by the prabhav of three modes of material nature he always used the jiva atma is seeing himself in this three modes of material nature and this maya is actually just making uh, the jivas into a brahm brahm situation that i am actually this uh, uh, jeev of three modes of material nature only but but our atma is chinmay and uh, there is no chance uh, to come to anarth can come in atma but still it is happening so this abhyas that is actually there is some uh, prabhav of maya but what is not true we will definitely be thinking it is true and we don't have any relation with that and whatever uh, uh, happiness and unhappiness of this world it should all go in hell we don't need anything but still we have uh, something with that we have some connection with that that whatever we are doing we are getting the fruit of that is uh, karma so this is a very uh, topmost thing to think on this point that there are a lot of tattva like the whole creation that is all uh, and the creation is done that jiva ishwar jeev ishwar jeev maya have time these are all they are already there from infinity time that time karma everything by this uh, this creation actually is uh, manifested everything uh, is uh, manifested in all the directions ishwar jeev kal ishwar jeev time maya every bhagwan everything these are from infinity time so krishna krishna maya that we are thinking that it is our only but we don't have the jiva has no connection with anartha but still he is thinking that uh, this is our oh my father just got died my child got died so like this he is thinking that it is mine only that is the actual technique of maya that is the actual magic of maya you can't do anything in that that's why how to just get rid of maya prabhupada actually speaking that ऑटोमेटिकली देर लाफिंग मोड विल बी स्टॉप and that is maya but the jeeva there are actually four kind of anarth it is written here that those who are in the maya these jeevas having four anarth that is number 1 is swarup vibram swarup vibram tattva vibram there are four anarth in the maya but the jeev there is asa trishna idde durbalya so first we will discuss swarup vibram swarup vibram means that uh, that to have that misconception on our own self that i am this i am that so there is actually vibram of swarup that swarup uh, that jeev is not actually understanding is actual swarup that is one kind of anarth swarup vibram that he has brahm or swarup there are four kind of brahm swarup has four kind of brahm if we just understand there are four kind of anarth regarding swarup because his own swarup like i just want to means that his subtle body that what is my tattva who am i and he who is who am i that what is the bhagavat tattva he is coming and what is sadhan sadhan tattva there is some uh, problem there is some question regarding that also there can anarth can also come in that also just when he is doing uh, according to his own self 
according to his own independent will he is doing that is also on earth so according to him in paratattva and in sadhan sadhan tattva also there can be problem some fault can be there he can't understand that like tapan mishra actually just came to mahaprabhu in to has come to mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu actually in purva ashram and when he was in uh, navadvip also at that time that was bharat varsh but still uh, at that time in bangladesh near padma nadi uh, he has just preached everything mahaprabhu and uh, tapan mishra one brahman actually very satvik brahman he just uh, after just uh, getting in the dream he just came to mahaprabhu and he don't know what is actually sadhan sadhan tatv how to do that and when he just came to mahaprabhu he is speaking that uh, you just uh, tell me the sadhan sadhan tatv mahaprabhu actually just telling him sadhan sadhan tatv how to do sadhan and not like that but also have done naam sankirtan is top most is mahaprabhu told to him so actually in sadhan sadhan tatv wherever mahaprabhu has went in sadhan sadhva tatv the where mahaprabhu has went for preaching where actually mahaprabhu speaking sadhan sadhva tatv he is speaking sambandh gyan about our sambandh with krishna whatever what is our relationship with krishna that in order to just activate that that is the top most thing and prem priyojan this kind of three things sambandh abhidhan priyojan mahaprabhu everywhere going and just giving this kind of uh, uh, discussion interpretation regarding that <coughs> so swarup prabhu so having brahm in your swarup and uh, that paratattva brahm is there in the tattva also and in sadhan sadhan tattva also you have brahm and what the virodhi vishay that what is against the bhajan paddhati that when you will not be seeing darkness in your uh, life then how you can glorify light when you don't, don't when you those persons who have already stayed in darkness uh, he, he will be glorifying light definitely when he will see light so that's why when you when you understand bhajan what is actually against bhajan definitely you need to understand that what by negative only definitely you will uh, confirm the positive yeah you understand this point what i am telling when there is no darkness definitely glorification of light you can't understand if there is uh, if you are speaking to asking to sun god that have you seen any darkness any time sun god is speaking oh, what is actually darkness i haven't seen it oh, i don't know what is darkness because he hasn't seen that from birth only he hasn't seen that uh, darkness so sun god so in our life also if we have seen darkness then definitely that glorification of light we can understand that's why sadhan sadha tattva in order to get established in that completely just to establish in sadhan sadhan tattva this virodhi vishay definitely we should know what is against bhakti like bhakti no thakur has written in the kirtan Krishna actually just be very careful about this 
maybe knowingly unknowingly when and how that uh, it's this uh, fraudster is coming in our heart very in a very hidden secret like a thief is coming in our heart that is asat trishna maharaj actually i have uh, this that i don't have any asat trishna maharaj there is actually definitely it is going like a thief inside our material mind definitely it is there in sir maybe in a very small margin it is there but still it is there so asat trishna are of four kinds ek ek ekeshana in this material world there are lot of ashana we have like uh, uh, the people should have my name and they should always respect me all the time and i should have lot of money with me this is uh, uh, ashana i should become a big man like this kind of wish fulfilled desire will be there that is ashana paratri ashana means after your death you are uh, ashana is there definitely i will go to heaven and uh, i will just enjoy there and a lot of apsara will be there i will enjoy with them and with uh, doing all the kind of yagya and everything and after that whatever kind of enjoying mood he needs that is paratrik ashna what kind of material desire he has inside his heart and bhuti vancha means that vibhuti bhuti vancha means vibhuti this vibhuti with the desire of vibhuti that is very dangerous which is written in the chaitanya chaitamrita that when actually there is inside our heart this kind of uh, desire actually just coming up in chaitanya chaitamrita it is written then uh, original bhakti that that seed of bhakti lata beech that original thing that will not uh, uh, grow it will just uh, be uh, get under pressure like in the field we are uh, the way there will be jowar there will be grains there will be rice whatever you are just bowing uh, that seed in the field that this is your duty that in between you just need to go there in the field and whatever unwanted elements are coming on the field you just need to uproot that from there just need to destroy that Uh, like in the field they just will approve those uh, unwanted elements from the field maybe grass and everything you just need to throw that that is important if you not do then definitely you are uh, uh, that your grains what you have bought definitely it will not uh, be growing because you haven't given protection to those uh, grains what you have already bought in the field so that's why it is very impossible to get that so that why it is written chadani jan bhakti vancha if you have kind of vancha desire then definitely that mool shakha that uh, uh, that tree will definitely will not grow original tree of bhakti so that's why in the sadhak only have this uh, rule then in between he just need to like field all prajwasi people also have seen all unwanted elements they are removing it from the field in the same manner you just need to throw all those things priti vancha will definitely mukti mukti vancha is also is good you are vibhuti you are thinking that is very good but it is actually a barrier in your bhajan after after death also uh, uh, the person the jiva is thinking that definitely go to heaven and will enjoy there so vibhuti vancha will definitely be there inside his heart koi parastik krishna bhuti kamuna avar mukti ka if some person actually he wants mukti then mukti are also are of different type uh, i can't but he nobody actually is thinking about seva everything everyone go, wants to go according to th- themselves there is actually no question of seva so ahik eshna ahi paratrik bhuti kaam vibhuti kaam mukti kaam these kind of four categories are there for asat trishna this i have already told you now and aparad they these are also four types aparad they are also four types like krishna naam swarup just to do aparad on krishna naam swarup like krishna naam krishna swarup that krishna naam krishna swarup you are doing aparad on to that krishna naam mein krishna swarup 
डेट टू डू इन कृष्ण नाम इन कृष्ण स्वरूप डायरेक्टली इन कृष्ण स्वरूप और इन कृष्ण नाम इन द नेम ऑफ कृष्ण नाम यू आर डूइंग यू आर जस्ट डिसरिस्पेक्टिंग नाम और समथिंग यू मस्ट हैव डन डेफिनेटली इन कृष्ण नाम इन कृष्ण स्वरूप एंड इन भक्त इन डिवोट इज ऑल्सो यू आर डूइंग अपराध ऑन डिवोट इज ऑल्सो यू आर डूइंग अपराध दैट इज ऑल्सो अपराध एंड एंड अदर्स यू आर दैट इज दैट इज अपराध ओनली so all this actually these kind of four kinds of aparadhi are very much dangerous seriously dangerous swarup premam asatrishna i have already told then aparadh i have told about four kinds then hriday durbal weakness of heart weakness of heart that is very dangerous this weakness of heart actually are uh, in different different kinds of things it can come in our mind how like just be thinking about useless material things that tuchha sakti to very small useless thing you are just thinking but still you are having that attraction towards that thing that is to tuchha sakti kuti nati means there is a very it's a very normal thing tuchha sakti means that normal asakti is there where it is not at all good kuti nati means that i'll give you one example like one person actually after 2 o'clock that brahmachari after 2 o'clock after doing seva after 2 o'clock he is just taking prasadam and he just uh, started uh, and uh, speaking to pramada where is my pramana why it is not there that is called tuch asakti that is kuti nati that is kuti nati he just started with an angry mood he is arguing with the person where is my parman like that that is kuti nati like someone is actually just uh, speaking on some vishay and he actually is just thinking then definitely he is speaking about me he is thinking that that is kuti nati he has some much sir jealousy is having oh actually he is actually is getting a lot of uh, fame now i just need to kill him that is much sir like haridas thakur have some much sir that ramchandra khan is having that jealousy on haridas thakur he has just sent one prostitute to haridas thakur in front of him just need to uh, destroy his reputation and just want to uh, make him fall down so that to thakti kutinati matsarjya all this actually krishna taro vishay the fourth one that in krishna seva what is not required at all which is not used at all like according to our own which are if it is used in krishna seva then definitely we can use but there is also one thing that definitely it will not be used in krishna seva like the all guru vishnu actually each and every vastu material thing and jiva should be there in wine how you can be just use in krishna seva there is one person he, that is a very important person and god like he is actually is a drunkard he always want to uh, drink wine so for him there is he is at a very important post that person um, actually you just give thoda you just give some uh, money and uh, you just be making you just give him some uh, wine and something and just for bhagwan if he is giving some advantage then definitely you have to give him wine also so wine can also be if you just be uh, taking in service of bhagwan you can do that you can everything can be uh, used in the seva of bhagwan so like this this krishna tarva vishay you have asakti that is uh, kutinati and paradroho pratishtha sa these kind of four things that krishna tare vishay you have asakti kuti nati paradroho pratishtha these four kinds are there krishna tera which is not at on used in seva that kind of asakti you have on those things which are not used for krishna seva that is kuti nati i have already spoken very small things paradroho means that much such a jealousy and uh, jealousy is the most serious thing dangerous thing apart from nothing is top most and sa pratishtha for his own pratishtha for his own small pratishtha he is actually just uh, kill guru vishnu when just throw them and just do like this everything just uh, uh, 
all uh, just to give vani vaiva in the market just sell it that is actually anarth so krishna tara vishay to have that asakti in that just to have throw on other mat sar on other one and so pratishad these four actually these are the weakness of heart these are hridaya dwarbalya that is written in the shastra already there in the shastra it is given so now actually in the shastra it is written that up till that point when these anarth rashi are not going from our heart definitely up till that point shuddh naam is not possible i have already told it a lot of times prabhupad also speaking this that is not at all possible to do shuddh naam when anarth rashi has not gone i have already told previously yesterday that how it is possible that ajamil he has done a lot of bad things had done lot of pap rashi infinity sinful activities with have that sansar with that prostitute and he is just uh, making his life going with that prostitute like in this what happened one day actually ajamil hasn't paid attention to that point that last day of his life has just come and when that last day came that ajamil whatever he has done what he has done he is just speaking the name of his own child he is just speaking the name of his child the child name was narayan there was a long story regarding this and uh, when he is just uh, speaking that name of his child narayan and sp- with a very frightened mood he is speaking his name of his child bachcha thodi duri mein child is actually uh, at a distant place and he was playing and he was just uh, when that yamdoot came when those yamdoot came in front of him and just want to take him uh, from uh, his body after just seeing them he was just in a frightened mood he is just speaking narayan name name of narayan he started speaking narayan that is very uh, surprising just by he just by speaking the name that uh, immediately those uh, vishnu dut just came in uh, back of yamdoot the three yamdoot has come by body speech and mind by body speech and mind whatever sinful activities uh, that pers uh, three yamdoot have come and nara yana these four these four syllable are there so because the rules are there that these four vishnu death have came there in front of those uh, yamdoot and uh, in between them some discussion is going on yamdoot actually uh, they are speaking that vishnu dut actually uh, just want to save ajamil from those yamdoot so that's why uh, the, both of them were discussing yamdoot and vishnu dut were having some discussion and uh, what yamdoot actually is speaking they are actually speaking about the sinful activities of ajamil he is giving a given infinity sinful activities ajamil so that's why we just need to take him he just have to came to we have to go to yamraj ji definitely i came here to just uh, take him to yamraj ji but vishnu dut actually they are just uh, giving him answer that uh, he is speaking narayan he has already spoken the name of narayan in the last time of his time at the time of that he is speaking narayan definitely that narayan that the name of narayan is that glorification that is unparalleled and beaten you can't even imagine that this kind of uh, glorification by that all the sinful activities of his life is uh, just uh, vanquished destroyed i have already discussed it that day also that person who is taking doing crores of uh, ashwamedh yagya and is to good is just comparing one krishna naam with that that, that is the norm mahaparadi he is a topmost pakhandi for him definitely he need to go to the door of yamraj definitely he should go there and he should get punishment and there is another shloka i have told namo pusti yavati shakti paapo महाप्रभु का 
महाप्रभु इन द सिक्स अष्टक में स्पीकिंग दिस इज एक्चुअल डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट दिस ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ नाम इज सो मच दैट यमराज जी ऑल्सो ही डोंट हैव दैट अधिकार ऑन दिस राइट ऑन दिस दैट हु एवर हैज स्पीक ऑन द नेम ऑफ हरी he can't do anything on that so like this the discussion was going on between the two and when that glorification of name was uh, ajamil was just uh, hearing that and the condition of ajamil is like that he is already on the bad state and he is at the door of death and whatever discussion was going in between those uh, yamdoots and vishnu doot about harina he is just got that satsang from there now whatever that vishnu doot actually speaking uh, in front of uh, the glorification of nam they were telling to yam doot so he just got that satsang from there because the yam doot when they had definitely have came there but they cannot uh, take him away vishnu doot have just stopped them uh, so whatever discussion about the glorification of nam was going on in between them that glorification has just become a satsang for uh, ajamil definitely immediately that satsang because of that his uh, door of uh, pathway of uh, bhakt uh, mukti has just opened for him and uh, so this vishay actually ajamil he is actually mahapatagi is a top most sinful everyone knows so he is sim- top most sinful but still at the time of death at the time of death those when he has just taken the topmost powerful naam of hari naam then definitely all his sinful activities are already been destroyed by bhagwat naam and this actually yam dutas in order to just uh, understand this thing vishnu dut has just uh, put a lot of effort so that they can understand and they have already all also done the glorification of naam sankirtan in front of them as well and now you are speaking that okay they, he is uh, sinful but still he has just uh, just glorified the bhagwat naam in front of them or who vishnu doot in front of yam doot and and with naam abhas uh, jamil has got mukti before that he has just they were speaking that naam and nami that bhagwat naam and bhagwan there is this is not different they were telling in front of those uh that who, which is naam that is nami this kind of uh, tat they were actually uh, just to discuss that it is very important that bhagwat naam that material persons this material world persons they are thinking that it is combination of some syllables that it is some syllables you are just taking uh, or it is nothing just a material uh, syllable only but uh, he is actually this thinking is very wrong naam is or not is just one or two syllable but it is a prakrit naam is the glorification of naam is uh, infinity you can't even imagine so that's why whatever in this material world this elements this matter are there whatever uh, was to whatever person is there he cannot uh, identify that uh, definitely naam is required to, in order to identify there like we are just speaking water we are just this uh, jal this water is actually water that russia speaking is bada he is speaking bada to water and uh, different different person will be speaking in uh, his different language he will be uh, speaking different thing but in a prakrit jagat that naam and the name and the bhagwa and the nami is uh, not different from each other i have already discussed this point before as well 
इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वॉट एवर नेम आर देयर वाचो वाचक देर इज नो रिलेशन दैट वैन यू आर स्पीकिंग वॉट आर वॉट आर डेफिनेटली यूर थर्स्ट विल नॉट गेट वैंक्विस्ट नो वैन यू आर स्पीकिंग वॉट आर वॉट आर वॉट नथिंग विल बी डन इन दैट कृष्ण कृष्ण राम नारायण हरि वामन नरसिंह गोविंद विष्णु ऑल एक्चुअली दीज आर ऑल शक्तिमत पदार्थ दे आर टॉप मोस्ट शक्तिमान दे आर एक्चुअली नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट शक्तिमान वस्तु भगवान सो दिस एक्चुअली इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ ऑल द शास्त्र एंड इफ वी आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग वॉटर वॉटर देन वॉटर विल नॉट कम एंड यू गिव मी शुगर शुगर लाइक दिस शुगर विल नॉट कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस जस्ट बाई स्पीकिंग शुगर इन अवर माउथ दैट स्वीट भाव विल नॉट कम इन इन अवर टंग बट राम बाई स्पीकिंग राम नाम इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट so by speaking ram naam every jeeva will just get uh, uh, out of this material world every person knows ajamil also has done he is in, in his whole life just to speak uh, get up early in the morning to do uh, gayatri japa and to do puja and to just take fruits and flowers it's all gone in vain only hari naam is there hari ajamil has done it previously as well Previous in his previous life also he has done he has done puja and food fruit flowers with tulsi has done archan of bhagwan but this is not that was not sufficient to save ajamil that's why just by one name of nama bhas of bhagwan ajamil just got delivered from that bhagwan by bhagwat naam bhagwan naam ka jo swaroop hai bhagwan naam that uh, the power is there inside that that is uh, top most that whatever shakti is there in the bhagwan that uh, same shakti is there in the bhagwat naam as well like ram naam that the name of ram is more bigger than ram like maybe is dasharath ram or balram but just you are just uh, speaking one uh, writing one ram hanuman ji maharaj writing it on the stone with full confidence and that ram naam that stone when it is written on that that stone just got floating on the water and, uh, and when in the coming uh, you just to see that uh, bridge of that ram setu towards sri lanka sri lanka up till sri lanka that sri maj from sri rameshwaram to sri lanka you can just see that ram setu one bridge was there formed so that uh, what the swarup the dharma of us uh, was there in the swarup of uh, bhagwan that is there similarly in the name of bhagwan also because naam and nami when they are non different from each other they are already non different or so, naam and nami they are abhinna tattva if they are not at all abhinna tattva then there will be a problem if they are not at all abhinna they are non dif- not non different if they are abhinna they are non different that's why we are getting so much power in naam in chaitanya amrit chaitanya ji tamrit also krishna krishna das kavraj go swami has written that by naam abhas you can get mukti and in the sarva shastra we have already seen that and in sh- in bhagavad ji mahapuran ajamil that is actual proof in front of us in every shastra it is written but in bhagavad ji mahapuran mahaprabhu is speaking that that is the top most powerful evidence apart from there are different evidence also there but mahaprabhu actually is just thinking that is the amal praman praman mamalam और 
Apart from this, no, 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 no evidence is there of the Shastra. That is the topmost Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Namabhas with, with Mukti Namabhas, it's coming, it's in every Shastra. And if it is in Bhagavatam, because Bhagavatam is the Amal Pranama, Praman, topmost Praman. Ajamil is the actual proof, example. So, why Pramutik Nyay? When you are just glorifying Nam, that about Ajamil, that uh, this, when, how uh, Ajamil got delivered, Sukhdev Goswami Path has just uh, spoken this. And now, how it is done, we just need to think of that. Previously, it was uh, uh, told that Yam Dyut at the time of death, they just came uh, to just uh, take Ajamil to just take him to Jamale. And uh, Vishnu Dut actually immediately just came there and just uh, glorifying the name of Narayan. And uh, but just by speaking to him for some time, those Yamdut, they were just speaking to Yamdut that uh, they were speaking to Ajamil that uh, those, those Yamdut actually uh, and uh, Vishnu Dutt actually speaking uh, to Yamdut that you can't take him to Yamdut. He has already done his expiration by speaking the Narayan, name of Narayan. Definitely he has at the time of death, he is speaking the name of uh, with fearful mood, he is just speaking the name of with very loud voice, he is speaking the name of Hari, Narayan. He is speaking the name of Hari. And actually he is just uh, calling his own son. So this is actually uh, the Akul Avahan that he is speaking the name of uh, Nam. Uh, he is actually speaking the name of Bhagwan. Uh, that with that abhas of Nam, his infinity uh, pap sinful activity just got destroyed. Vishnu Dut actually speaking this. Unknowingly he is speaking the name of Narayan. That's why all sinful activity got destroyed. So now the question is coming that this Hari Nam that by the qualities name and uh, one of uh, Harinam like uh, Yagya was stopped Yagya was stopped at that time and uh, this uh, what's his name uh, when the Yagya was stopped then then again that Yagya was again start about Bali Maharaj you can just see that point and uh, in this kind only that glorification of Nam is there and that in this in that canto so this also the glorification of norm in the case of ajamil as well you can see that at that point there also you can see bali maharaj that uh, this uh, shukracharya actually is just glorifying the n- name that mantra and tantra whatever is there it cannot get complete if it is not completed then by doing bhagavat ram definitely everything will get complete So, so actually is what actually speaking the name of his son, that this Narayan, what is he actually speaking, now the actual question coming, that uh, that Shri Hari Nam, we actually knows that it is actually the uh, limb of uh, whatever Yagya, whatever Kriya Karam you are doing, if it is not get completed, and it is just uh, some problem is there inside uh, in that yagya and some problem was created in that yagya and some fault is there then definitely with bhagavatam everything get completed with the hari nam with qualities with his gun that all kind of uh, incompleteness can become complete that is the actual vidhi of shastra according to the vidhi of shastra you can definitely get the topmost fruit topmost result and you that is the topmost benefit this harinam of bhagwan in every shastra that achyut bhagwan that only i am speaking to you that you are that topmost complete vastu, you are topmost amrit nectar, full of nectar, that if something, some problem is there actually, 
happened just by thinking of Bhagwan, just by thinking the name of Bhagwan. Definitely, there is maybe some fault is there, something is there, but that will become complete just by taking and thinking the name of Harinam. Just by thinking of Achyut, O Paratpara Kileshwar Bhagwan Govind, just by, I am just, uh, take, that is actual glorification of your Harinam. Just by thinking and just by doing, uh, doing Harinam Kirtan, if there is some fault uh, done in the Yajna, definitely that will get rectified automatically. That will get rectified by the glorification of Nam. We have already seen in the temple also, the Gurudev always used to speak. Gurudev has this Adesh, has this... Um, all, uh, when actually before nursing Chaturdashi, uh, some Yajna was going on. And at that time of Yajna, there is uh, one... Uh, rules that all uh, uh, pure devotees will be sitting in uh, near the yagya yagya is going on okay but nam sankirtan is going on there continuously continuously nam sankirtan is that is the actual rules of my gurudev why because in the yagya there is some defect in the yagya nobody knows maybe some material defect is there like time some mantra charani some problem can be there so actually everything can get rectified by Bhagavad Nam. Everything can be done by Hari Nam. With this which are actually all the time Gurudev always used to do Yagya actually everything. But still uh, by side the pure devotees are doing Sankirtan all the time. So now the actual question is coming here that okay. But this Ajamil in his life actually he hasn't done anything in his life good. In his whole life, Ajamil has not done very nice karma, for, but for, for how he is that is in, infinity sinful activities are getting destroyed, how you can just, uh, um, Ajamil actually is not a good person, he has not done any good activity, but why, for what reason his infinity sinful activities are just rectified, how you are just uh, forgetting that all those sinful activities he has done. What is the actual uh, reason behind that? The answer actually, uh, when Vishnu Dutta actually speaking in front of uh, Yamduta, this shloka, they have just spoken that uh, Krishna, this, in order to just get rid of those sinful activities, Bhagavad Nam is the only way to just get rid of that, or to get rid of that. In order to get rid of these sinf uh, sinful activities in the Harinam, uh, the power, the power of Harinam is so much that it is that kind of power is not there in anything. Maybe you are doing expiration, whatever prat you are doing, but that power is not there uh, as compared to Bhagavat Ram Harinam. That is the topmost uh, power. That's why this question actually is giving Parishit Maharaj in front of Sukhdev Goswami as well. How you can do expiration, Maharaj? How you can do rectification? By our eyes, by our ears, skin, all sinful activities are done by this only. All humans actually are just, they know that they are doing these sinful activities, but still they are doing for them. Which is actually not at all good for them. For them, it will just become the reason of their destruction. But still, after understanding that also, by still understanding this point also, they, they are knowingly, unknowingly, they don't have that, uh, uh, they don't have the intention to do that sinful activity. But still, he is doing that forcibly. They, but they don't know why they are doing. The question. Arjun has uh, asked in front of Krishna in Gita, Bhagavad Gita, he has uh, asked uh, Krishna. That I don't have the desire to do this activity, but 
but who actually is there this forcibly i am doing this sinful activity who is he actually by which i am just getting that intention to do that sinful activity i'm just getting a prerith to do that activity sinful activity i don't have the desire but still forcibly i am doing that sinful activity the bhagwan krishna shri krishna is actually giving answer in front of to parikshit maharaj actually uh, sukhdev goswami pad giving this answer to parikshit maharaj that how to do expiration of this parikshit maharaj asking maybe some amangal kriya karam we is actually staying away from that but still again he is doing oh okay no worries we will do that sometimes he is getting away from amangal and sometimes he is doing amangal what is the i thought that expiration is the, the top most thing uh, how to do expiration for that because we can't uh, get uh, sinful activities uprooted from the roots because it is actually impractical to do expiration when we are doing that it looks impractical then after that the answer is coming that uh, oh rajan just those who are doing hari bhajan those krishna devotees if you they were serving them definitely they will become pure why because just by the tapasya etc the persons are not becoming so much pure by just taking shelter of the by those who have already taken shelter of krishna charan um given they are all everything by body speech and mind they have surrendered on to krishna means those who are nishkinchan they are thinking that apart from bhagwan nothing is there that bhagwat naam is before apart from bhagwat naam there is nothing you are just uh, uh, having prem with bhagwan you are not doing hari naam it is not possible it means that those who have just taken the shelter of naam and to take shelter of sadhu means to have already you have taken shelter of naam that is non different so and to just take shelter of sadhu means to take shelter of name only because prabhupad have not uh, forget this point that uh, how to do one lakh naam we can't do we can't have uh, don't have time uh, prabhupad speaking what at what you are doing at night time means that you just need to do one lakh naam that is uh, very important there is no uh, you can't get out of that to just to whatever you just given your life of by body speech and mind what you have everything you have given on to the lotus feet of krishna if you are just doing the seva of that kind of sadhu then definitely our heart will become uh, get out of contamination just by nama bhas this contamination will go those who are actually vimukh from those who are bhagwat vimukh those who are far away from bhagwat tattva for them if you just leave them they can't get uh, purify those who are away from bhagwat tattva they are away from bhagwan whatever you they are doing rajsoi yagya or ashwame yagya whatever they will do they will not get purification at all that's why naam and nami so much glorification is there of hari naam and bhagwan himself like uh, the pot of wine cannot get purified at all in the same manner just by do expiration anything you are doing how it how he is doing he will not at all get purified but those who are bhagwat vimukh those who are bhagwat vimukh they are away from bhagwan that bhagwat tattva they will never get purified never at all they will get purified so this thing actually this is there and i have already told that and now he is actually just calling achut just by thinking of his name if any defect is there if any problem is there everything will get rectified i have already told 
इत्यादिशु नूनम संपूर्णतम जाति शब्दो बंदे तम अच्छुत ओ बंद वो अच्छुत को मैं बंदना करूँ कैट अच्छुत आई एम जस्ट ग्लोरीफाइंग बाय जस्ट टेकिंग हिज नेम एंड जस्ट बाय थिंकिंग ऑफ हिज नेम व्हाटेवर इन सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज आर देयर all actually just get destroyed and if some fault is just uh, done all these faults will just get destroyed just by the remembering the name and whatever tapasya yagya whatever is there etc you are doing everything is just get uh, rectified i am just uh, glorifying that hari but ajamil actually hasn't done uh, this kind of activity in his life he hasn't done a good karm in his life so why actually is just got uh, Uh, infinity sinful activities just get rectified how it can be done like that the for that actually it is uh, speaking here it means that in order to get rid of sinful activities the name of power is so much that There is actually no point of speaking this. Just by Bhagwat Nam, Ma Bhagwat Nam has so much power that it can automatically rectify this. What is written here? That this Ajamil, this Hari Nam, sorry, this Hari Nam. What Ajamil actually just by fearful mood he has done that Hari Nam. That is also not the also the power of Hari Nam. Just by the power of Hari Nam he is doing that. And uh, if he has done infinity kind of sinful activities, this actually all just get vanquished by Hari Nam. So this Ajamil actually he has got the topmost expiration from all his sinful activities. And the infinity type of power, if it is there, then definitely all is vanquished. Just by his speaking that Hari Nam, just by fearful mood, he is speaking this Nam. By this, actually, Vishnu did actually just want to prove that by this look, the meaning is that. Just in order to get rid of the sinful activities, Bhagwat Nam, Hari Nam is uh, so much power in that that without any, uh, he has not done any kind of good activity like this. He has not done so. This kind of power has Hari Nam in that. Still, this kind of thing actually when he is not thinking, this kind of power has Hari Nam has in it that everything is getting rectified. If uh, there is uh, in our heart there is some shushtata, minds the some confusion is there in his heart whether uh, that uh, some uh, anarthi has done inside that or not. So Hari Nam is just rectifying everything. Whether he has done this Hari Nam knowingly or unknowingly, the Hari Nam has destroyed everything. Like a like a lion, like a lion is coming in the forest, and that all the deers are just getting frightened and going away from there. Just by taking darshan of a lion, all the deers are just getting scattered. In the same manner, like the nam, if he is actually understanding the glorification of nam or not understanding that, in any condition he is doing hari nam on his tongue, then definitely this uh, hari nam. So those who is doing Hari Nam, all the sinful activities will just get destroyed automatically. For that, actually, it is written there, no? It's already written there. So whatever uh, whatever power is there in Hari Nam, that infinity power is there in Bhagwat Nam. So we can't do this much of sinful activities in our whole life. That is the power of Hari Nam. So, like different different proofs of uh, from the Shastra that from Bhagwat Nam that the sinful activities can get destroyed. We can just see that. And
all the, these different kind of uh, papa, these sinful activities, which are very dangerous, we can all get rectified only by the uh, Harinam of Bhagwan. By Harinam, everything can get rectified because by Bhagwat Nam, just by speaking Bhagwat Nam, just by speaking Bhagwat Nam. There is some priti. Bhagwan is getting some priti on us. We are getting some attraction towards Bhagwan. And there is actually a lot of questions in this. Because those Vedarthi, those Mohishigans, those who are Vedarthavadi, all those Rishimuni actually are there. And uh, they are actually, they are just comparing the expiration with different breath and the uh, glorification of Nam. Those Vedarthi Vadi Rishis, they are actually, it is already done by that all this expiration process and the glorification of Nam. The glorification of Nam is more than that. That Vishnu Dut actually just, uh, there are a lot of things they have already told to uh, that by doing Bhagavat Nam, all those sinful activities like uh, they are getting that Vedarthi Vadi Manu and all those Rishigans, they are actually spoke, speaking that Chandrayan Vrat, etc., whatever Vrat you are doing, that is uh, just for expiration. But it is not, expiration is not done in those Vratas. You can't do expiration by that, do those process. By expiration, by expiration, sinful activities will go, but will, it will not get uprooted from the root. It will not get destroyed from the root. It will st still there in the form of root, sinful activities. So that's why uh, after that also you can get uh, a mangal in your future as well. You can get a mangal in your future life as well. Okay, sinful activities are gone, but that uh, it is not destroyed from the root. The pa sinful sin is not destroyed from the root. So you, after expiration also, our heart can go for sinful activities. There is no guarantee there at all. Indra Maharaj Ji, Indra Maharaj Ji has uh, this. Uh, Indra Maharaj Ji actually this uh, what sinful activity he has done, this aparad he has done. In order to just rectify that, he has done so much arrangement for that. Ashwame, etc. Uh, in English, Hare Katha, I have already told that. But still you see, can see that, that when Krishna Swayam came, himself came, when Krishna himself came in Dwapar Yuk, at that time, Indra Maharaj Ji is, uh, is just, uh, and all those Brajavasis and Krishna is becoming angry because his puja was uh, stopped by Krishna and uh, Krishna started Govardhan puja, so that's why he became angry. So, you see after that what happened? That when Dwarka, when he went to Dwarka, when Krishna wants to just, uh, just taken one uh, Parijat Friksh, Parijat tree from the heaven, at that time again uh, that fighting going on, again fighting going on between Indra and Krishna. So Indra is that same Indra, but still again he is actually doing fighting with Bhagwan. Why? So there are a lot of cases there. Uh, a lot of cases like this. So, so expiration, this actually Visha is there, by expiration sinful activities will go away, but uh, sinful activity will not get destroyed by the root, so because, because of that our heart will, uh, contamination will not go away completely. So after expiration also still is uh, the person is going for sinful activities again. In order, I'll just give you one example, all those material bonded jivas who has actually, all those ministers who have just uh, looting all the money and they are just thiefing, robbery. What If you just put it in jail, put him in jail, what will happen? If you just put it in jail, okay. But after putting him in jail, whether his heart will just get transformed, whether his uh, sinful activity will go from his heart, no. That is not the actual samadhan. That is not the actual solution of this problem. He can again after getting out of the jail, he can just do robbery. So what is the value? So inside our heart, when we have contact with Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, like those who are Mahapapi, they, Vaid, 
that Mahapapi Vaid, he has just, uh, just by the association of Naraji, he has just transformed completely. Then he has that more glorification. And if you just be putting him in the jail, what he who has done, taken uh, loot, loot, and he is a thief, and he has just murdered someone, and you are just putting him in jail, that is not the actual samadhan for that. Then he, when he'll go out of jail, he will do more. But when the Guru Vishnu, what they have that solution about just by taking the support of Harinam, then that is the actual uh, solution. Like I am actually speaking about how Jamil presently, uh, before that, this bad, this very, this hunter is very hinsuk, this heartless hunter actually is just getting delivered by just uh, association of Naraji. How? So that Vaishya prostitute, Lakshahira, this prostitute is just getting transformed completely just by the association of pure sadhus. It can be done. Just by taking Naam, all those sinful activities, just by Shravan Kirtan, by that is the just by doing that pure bhakti limb, that uh, sukshma sanskar, the root cause of the sinful activities will definitely get destroyed and our heart will just get purified. Our heart will get purified. I have already told that point, this point to you, that Subuddhi Rai, he was just taking a very uh, sore water and Muslim uh, king and after that Subuddhi Rai want to die and lot of people he was asking that what to do, what is the actual expiration for this, somebody is, uh, you just uh, go into fire and someone speaking that you just take a very hot key and just uh, drink that and you just uh, leave your body and after that Mahaprabhu speaking you do Nam Sankirtan, all the time you do Nam Sankirtan, by your Krishna Nam everything will get rectified. Only Bhagavat Naam, only Hari Naam can just purify our heart. Otherwise, nothing, no, whatever they are, they are in this material world, everything is useless. Like, <laughs> there is one house from the last 50 years, there is darkness in that house. But uh, if there is 50, it doesn't mean that uh, there, there will be uh, in that dark house, uh, when the light is getting into that, then darkness will definitely go away. By just uh, lighting up a uh, Deepak, like incense lamp, definitely all the darkness will go away by that, uh, by the light of that lamp. Tulsi Das Ji also have spoken about this point that uh, this uh, jiva actually in this body if uh, by naam everything it will just uh, take everything away from us and that darkness uh, again will not come at all that's why the sinful activities of that papi will definitely get uh, destroyed by naam sankirtan by just by shravan kirtan etc just by doing that slowly steadily that uh, the fine form of pap will definitely get destroyed from its root and we will just get bhakti after that. And uh, after just getting bhakti, we will be getting that serving mood and uh, when we will be serving uh, Guru Vaishnav, then Amangal will not come at all. Shiddha Swamipad has written this point that by just taking Harinam, what will happen? That uh, uh, infinity qualities and uh, characteristics are there in Harinam. And just by taking the Harinam, when it is going inside the heart of that uh, Namkari who is taking his name, that, uh, that uh, seed of sin will definitely get uprooted from his heart. And slowly, steadily, when he'll be doing Nam Sankirtan, he will just got the infinity characteristics and qualities of Bhagwan. Just by doing the Kirtan of that inside his heart, he will get that uh, stability inside his heart, and Bhakti and Bhakti will just get established inside his heart. 
सो अजामिल एक्चुअली इन हिज प्रेजेंट लाइफ वॉट एवर ही डन इवन इन द मिलियंस ऑफ लाइफ वॉट एवर सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज हैज डन दैट विल ऑल्सो विल गेट रेक्टिफाइड अप्रूटेड फ्रॉम द रूट जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द नाम संकीर्तन डूइंग नाम संकीर्तन एवरीथिंग जस्ट गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड लाइक फायर so lot of things should be come here the first question is coming that ajamil actually has just speaking narayan this name and is calling his child that uh, before that he was not calling that uh, he was just calling he has just uh, made the name of his child as narayan but before also he must have uh, speaking the name of narayan so now what today what uh, new thing has happened there is one uh, question one can come that why he has just uh, make his child name narayan and inside his heart he has not kind of that uh, dharma and the dharma and bhagavad buddhi inside his mind his mind was not uh, uh, full of dharma and uh, bhagavad tatva so when he has just uh, take his name uh, the child uh, name is narayan so before that he has just done all the sinful activities he has stopped already he was actually speaking narayan narayan before that but before that when ajamil he was not at all uh, he has not stopped doing sinful activities uh, narayan um, ajamil his uh, child name has just speaken a lot of time narayan narayan in his life but ajamil may be uh, doing he can't stop himself by doing adharma when he was in his life he don't have that dharma buddhi and bhagavad buddhi he don't have that previously why because at that time also that uh, he had, he was just to be was uh, staying with that prostitute only and doing all the kind of sinful activities with her at that time also and he was just with that uh, prem in that prostitute and in in her seva he has given uh, his whole life in that and destroying his life and now what new has just come today in this nitya kal with very frightful mood fearful mood is just speaking the name of his child what is the actual uh, new thing has done in this now this question the answer actually vishnu dut actually speaking that they are speaking in order to just rectify this uh, question they are answering what is the actual reason that uh, maybe ajamil actually he is actually is not speaking he is not uh, asking bhagwan he is not act- actually calling the name of bhagwan he is calling the name of bhagwan but he is not uh, uh, actually calling bhagwan from his heart so at the time of that what is the actual speciality in this in this vishnu dut actually as is just speaking in uh, up front of this question they are answering that he still has not called bhagwan and still he is uh, calling his uh, son only that is also inside his heart there is no sambandh no relationship with bhagwan he has not no relationship with bhagwan at that time when he was calling narayan from his mouth at the time of his death nothing was there but still <coughs> this uh, naam by just speaking this naam all his sinful activities just get destroyed because in the shastras it is written i have already told uh, two to three days back that sarik uh, sankirtan parihasam iramerava this shloka the actual conclusion is that that by bhagavat naam knowingly and unknowingly knowingly and unknowingly in any condition that bhagwat naam if you are doing that i have already told it pre yesterday also that vaikunth naam that uh, has so much power when you are just hearing it or just speaking it has so much power in infinity power does he has not done it seriously or unknowingly that uh, name has just uh, gone out of him out came out of him out of his mouth and he is just uh, just speaking in the form of poems or some in the form of uh, uh, song he is just speaking by sanket or parihas he is doing naam but in this material world we can see if some uh, one child i have seen he was just playing 
friendly. He is very innocent. He just cut his own hand with the knife because he is very innocent, and he just got uh, his hand on the knife. And there is one child. He was just uh, going into the fire and just put his hand in the fire just by in the playing mood. So this kind of uh, in this material world we can see this that uh, how up till how much point you can uh, just uh, maintain your child. Uh, definitely they will do these kind of activities. So when he just put his hand in the uh, fire and all these activities he has done, they will do. And at that point, what you will speak that his child. Oh, what happened? If he is, you should just leave him. It is not at all good, no. Like a poison, knowingly or unknowingly, if you are just uh, taking it inside your mouth, you are just drinking it. Then the, the, you will get rectification for that. No, you will not get. You will die. Poison. You are knowingly or knowingly you are drinking or not. One actually grandfather, he has because of the mouse in the house. There are a lot of mouses going in the house. What that grandfather has done, he has without uh, telling everyone, he just uh, uh, went to the market and had taken that cutlet, and he was just uh, he has giving one poison in the cutlet, and he has just put it in front of the door. And what happened? That small boy, small child, he just came from where this uh, smell is coming. He was just going there, and and he is a very small child. He just put his hand in the cutlet and not asking anyone to her mother and all. And uh, the child has just taken that cutlet, that poison. And after that, what happened? He just taken that. Now what to do? After that, he. He is actually taking him to the hospital, but they can't save him because uh, they got this news after a very long time. But the child got died. What happened? The child was dead. So, in the mouth of those, they have just uh, it in Padma Purana. It is written from the mouth of those person. He is just uh, speaking only one time Hari Nam. That moksha sukh, he can get very easily, bhukti mukti everything. There is no other question regarding this. That is the topmost glorification of naam. So this is the actually glorification of naam, and apart from glorification of naam, whatever we will just be speaking, it is very uh, less. So knowingly, unknowingly, if the child is just doing opposite, wrong, and he is just putting his hand in the fire, and definitely the fire has fire has no um, uh, dosh in that. The fire will definitely will burn the hand. So what to speak more? Like the fire, you unknowingly you haven't put your hand in your fire, but still that it will burn your hand. But those Muslim people actually, if knowingly unknowingly speaking, ha ram, definitely they will their sinful activity will get destroyed. And up till now today, I will be just giving a rest today. And there are very serious discussions regarding this. Very in-depth discussion. I will be doing that. And today I will be just giving rest today. I have a very less time. So this shloka, what I have already started with, 